heating a small part in an induction coil is problematic. The only way to support the part in the coil is with a pair of tongs. Both the part and the tongs would be heated to working temperature. This is not a desirable outcome. To solve this problem, I purchased a piece of ceramic fiberboard, a half inch thick. It's supported between the two tables. The coil for the fiberboard was wrapped around a wooden form that's two inches by three and a half inches. The coil I made had four loops. This was too many. The forge would shut down after about 15 to 20 seconds of heating. I unwound one of the loops making a three loop, loop coil, uh, three loop coil function properly. Here's an example of a piece of one inch tall stock being heated while sitting on the uh, ceramic fiberboard. When I first used the fiberboard, it started smoking. I scorched it on both sides with a propane torch and that resolved the smoking problem. Generally, you want your part to fill most of the coil. Here's an example though of a small part in a large coil. And even though it's smaller than it should be for a coil that size, it still was able to be heated to a working temperature. In the following sequence, I'm using a longer uh, piece of fiberboard. You'll notice over the course of uh, the various uh, steps that the fiberboard got scuffed up but remained intact. I've only used this uh, setup for a few hours, but it seems to function quite well. And uh, I think that uh, the piece of fiberboard should last uh, for quite a while uh, before it needs to be replaced. Uh, overall, the setup uh, worked quite well and allowed me to uh, work on this small piece inside a uh, coil. The half-inch fiberboard provided a means of placing small parts inside the coils of an induction heater.